everyone, Michael Brown back again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. We've got your image out of the camera into the computer, edited it in Bridge, did a little correction in Camera Raw, and now you're ready to go into Photoshop. But before we start working on the image, in this lesson I'm going to talk to you about image size, increasing and decreasing your image, in other words enlarging or reducing the image, canvas size, which is actually adding area to an image where you leave the image the same size and create more canvas to the outside. And we're going to talk about resolution and what it is and how we deal with that in regards to print, in other words printing your images, or displaying them on a monitor. So let's get started. Here's an image I shot with my Nikon D7000 camera, which is a 16 megapixel camera. That means the sensor has 16 million pixels, but it shoots a red, green, and blue channel, which means the file size is three times the megapixels, or 48 megabytes, with a tiny bit of trim, but the camera's computer does. And so if we go up to the menu bar, go to the image, image size menu, you'll see at the very top of the image size dialog box, there's the file size of the image. It's 46 megabytes, just a little less than the 48 we talked about. Now, the dialog box has pixel dimensions, so the actual image is just under 5,000 pixels and just over 3,000 pixels. 4928 wide, 3264 high. If you multiply those two together, you will get 16 million. But there are three channels, so the file size is triple that. The actual document size was determined by the resolution that the computer set the image at. It defaulted at 240 pixels per inch. And the reason that that is, and most camera manufacturers have adopted that now, is that when you print an image uh, from a printing press at a lithographer, a professional printing press, not an inkjet printer, but a regular ink printer with plates. They print at between 150 and 200 dots per inch maximum. If they go any more than that, the actual ink droplets will begin to clump and you'll lose detail. So traditionally they're printing between 160 and 175 dots per inch for fine work. And a rule of thumb is they would like to have the digital file presented to them for maximum quality at between 1.5 and 2 times the dots per inch that they're printing at. And if we're averaging it at about 160, 1 and a half times 160 is 240. So that's how they came up with this. Now, there's the document size at that resolution equals a 46 megabyte file. Over here we have three check boxes. One to resample an image, which is either enlarging or reducing an image, adding pixels or removing pixels. Constraining proportions. If you have it checked to constrain, it will keep this aspect ratio constant. You can actually stretch or squish an image by unchecking this and changing some of these dimensions. Scale styles. If you're adding drop shadows or other layer effects under the layer menu, layer styles. If you don't flatten your image, all the layers, and apply those effects directly to the pixels, if you enlarge the image, the scales, the styles will not scale up. They stay the same. So in other words, you'd have a drop shadow if you enlarged an image that would stay small and it wouldn't match up with the type. So 